Hello everyone, this is the coolest feature on the brand new Manor Lords game that I've seen so far. <laughs> I really like the gameplay, don't get me wrong, but this is the tool that allows you to create your coat of arms. So I just wanted to spend a minute and show you how awesome this is. First of all, you have all these different kind of base templates for how you want to set up your own coat of arms. When I did my first one, I used this cross here, and that allowed me to have these five different sections that then you can further customize with, <clears throat> excuse me, angles, and there's all these different shapes. It's really, really pretty remarkable. So like you could go with this and then you say, all right, the, the very first one, I'm not a huge fan of the, not the beehive or whatever that is. So maybe I want to put a, a battle axe in that one, but I want to change the background color. So you have all these colors in your color palette. So we could say, let's do dark on that one. And then number two, Let's go, I think that's our lines here. Maybe we want a crown at the top. So let's put a, a crown up there. And then even within that, we can change our color. So I like blue, obviously. So we'll go blue and maybe silver, like a silver. So I guess it still has a little bit of the gold for the crown, but that's fine. And we go over here, we already have, I don't know what this symbol is. You know, maybe somebody can enlighten me, but Maybe since we've got, you know, leadership and and uh, fighting there, maybe over here we do something a little softer, a little more representative of uh, diplomacy and connection, something like that. Maybe we say, how about a flower over here? And then change our colors. We want to maybe an orange-ish kind of, well, that's a little too dark for my taste. Just gonna maybe, maybe like a like a that color flower with some red highlights. Love it. Okay, now now we have this last one down here at the bottom. We probably don't want the background to be that same dark, so maybe we go with like a light color background, and then change out the dragon for. Uh, something like this and then the colors on it we want blue and light blue perfect so i you know of course this is just an example like if i want to go back and change from those lines behind the crown so we want something a little more like this chain behind there with with uh no, not that blue let's maybe go with Mm. You see what I'm saying though, right? You can you can see how many options there are. And just one little change seems like it, it can alter the texture of the whole appearance. You know, can you imagine this on shields? You're out there with making a shield wall with an image, something like this. I mean, how cool is that? So anyways, uh, you, you know, pick your, your portrait here. But these tools are absolutely phenomenal and a lot of fun to, to tinker around with. And I'm looking forward to seeing the folks who actually have a little bit of a graphic arts background kind of come in and explain to us the tools and tricks to make things pop. Like, this is maybe too busy, you know, maybe a better way to do it is just something simple like this. We, we fight and we and we rule or you know whatever you you can come up with your own narrative for all of it and honestly like some of these you might want no <clears throat> you might want no symbol at all you just want plain and then you know maybe down here in this lower portion I get rid of that. Am I in the wrong place here? Get rid of that symbol. And we just pick a color that 
that makes sense. You know? And then, I don't know if it will let us make the flower bigger. Doesn't look like it will. Won't let us scale that flower. But you could maybe... Oh, those are two different colors on the top. Uh... So that's too light. We need to split the difference here and find the... There it is. Look at that. I mean, then you have something as simple as this. Like, can you imagine seeing that on the battlefield? Just like these guys come in and they've got a flower in the center of their... In the center of their shield and they're coming to, to mess you up. You know, or maybe we go n no symbol there and we put, you know, a, an eagle. So here it'll let us... Yeah, how cool is that? We could do this, or maybe we just have something like this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We could alter. This will let us make it as, you know, we could fill the shield with a cool symbol like that. What is it going to do with the secondary color? Okay, there's not a secondary color with this design. Anyways. I hope this was uh, was a helpful little video to show you all that you can do with this cool tool. And I can't wait to see what some graphic designers do with it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Blue Belly, and I play simulation games, including the indie game Manor Lords. Bye for now.